I like to write in bed because it's the place where I feel most relaxed. And I usually try and write from about six in the morning until lunchtime. And if I can get six hours in, then I can be very productive. But it's my favorite time for working because my mind's fresh and often I've had thoughts or inspirations during the night when I've been dreaming. So it's a very good place to work. I don't need many things when I'm writing in bed. I like to be comfortable, but the thing that's really essential is this wonderful item here, which is um, my beanbag tray. And this came from Oxfam, it was 2 99 but they're actually perfect for working with a laptop. When I'm working and I get stuck or I'm looking for inspiration, often I'll get up and have a look out of the garden. Here on my bedside, I've got my binoculars and our, our, my garden is two streets away from the botanical garden so often I have very interesting birds come into the garden and actually there's an owl that lives in the tree at the bottom of the garden so when I'm wanting a bit of inspiration or I've got a bit bored with writing often I'll sit up and have a look out down the garden with the binoculars and see what bird life is going on. There's, there are also a family of squirrels that live in the tree at the bottom of the garden but they're rather annoying. The other things I have on my bedside table that are sort of quite special to me are my silver penguin penguin give you one of those when you've sold your half a million books so that was um when the tractors sort of um, reached the half a million mark um i was awarded my silver penguin the thing about the penguin is that it's a penguin with attitude you can see the way that it's standing there you know sort of very forthright ready to take on the world and sometimes when, I, when i'm feeling a bit low and the work's flagging i look at the penguin and the penguin tells me you can do it it's also quite heavy it's solid silver and it's got a sharp beak so i sort of think if i ever needed to defend myself he'd come to my rescue the other thing i like to have on my um beside my bed which i look at from time to time are my family photos this lovely picture is my mother when she was in her 20s and her sister when she was 14. They parted before the war and never saw each other again. And when I was reunited with my family, I actually went back to Ukraine and met the lady in the picture, Oksana, uh, my aunt Oksana. And I was able to give her a tape that I'd made with my mother about her life and how she'd traveled from Ukraine into England and you know everything that had happened to her since she left Ukraine. It was a, it was a terribly moving moment. And I think it's so lovely, those young girls, so beautiful, um, taken, I think it was taken in 1932, and everything that they've lived through since then, I found it very moving and actually quite inspirational as well. And another thing I really like is this picture above my bed of the old man looking out of the window. And there he is sitting at his desk with his pile of books and his bowl of roses, looking out over that lovely view, sort of dreaming and contemplating really. And I like to think that I'll be like that one day when I'm 80 or 90 still sitting there at a desk with my books, thinking and writing and looking out on a lovely landscape.